Hello there and welcome to Kenji! Now for the past couple of months I've been wanting to make something easy again. At least relatively speaking as far as editing is concerned. Something a little closer to what uh, I was doing with Corpse Party. And so I hope that we'll be able to do it with this game. We do of course have a variety of potential starts but I believe we shall go for Rock Bottom. You've hit absolute rock bottom. You're alone, unarmed, naked, and hungry. Lost in the middle of a harsh desert, desert teeming with slavers. And you just lost an arm. Good luck. Yes, I like it. Let's have a look at the advanced. Basically just up the research, building, and production speed just to keep things going. Yes, I think... That'll do, just to keep things going, prevent things from slowing down too much in the later game. We can always just change these settings at any time that we want regardless, so let's go. Okay, there we go, this is our randomly generated character. Uh, I think they may be a little too... <laughs> Oh, let's just bring that down a little bit. Oh, look at that beauty. It's already complete. I don't even need to do anything for this. Oh, we're lagging it a wee bit. The game's freaking out. It doesn't even care what it's doing. Okay, that should do. Let's see, can I... Oh, God, look at those arms. God, well, look at that arm, rather. <laughs> God, he's beefy. Let's bring this stuff back into reasonable levels. Right, that's him back to relative normalcy. He's still emulating a hamster that just found a canoe, but uh, I believe we can work with this. Ah, lovely. In case it wasn't completely obvious, I do have a mod which increases the effect of the sliders. But for reference, it will only affect the characters that we ourselves are customizing. It won't affect random characters in the world because I found that it can actually really mess with the hitboxes. Oh my god, he's a cobra! I, right, I'm pretty sure that this is actually just some sort of pyramid head-esque creature that found someone else's head and put it on top of theirs. I mean, this is fucking... this is something out of Resident Evil at this point. Especially if we do that. It's... oh my god, that just morphed his legs into each other. He really needs to piss. Yeah, I think we will just stick to the Greenlander as our base template. The corrupt in time. Right, I think we shall name our character. Derek. After the one-armed and one-legged giant. We may have one arm, but we unfortunately have two legs, which we shall remedy as soon as we can. As for the giant part, we'll just make him a little extra tall and a little extra bulky. Oh god, he's got... that's just ingrown hairs coming out of his lips. <laughs> Lovely. Hmm, even better. From certain angles, he does look quite believable. Like, you may actually think that this could be just a, a normal person, but then, uh... Then he turns around. Yeah, that's definitely some sort of bulldog in disguise. Ooh, I actually quite like that. Yes. He's done with being pushed around. He's ready to take action. Even if he can't really see where he's going. No, we, we can't. We can't just repeat the same stuff we've already done. He needs to see. He needs to look ahead at all times. Even if it's rather painful looking. Okay, I think that'll do. He's nice and, uh, distinct. So, let's go. The Great Desert. I mean, I 
don't really know what all the hype's about. Seems just like a regular old desert to me. Okay, we're there. Our best bet is probably to go to Shobatai. Let's see, that would be up that way. Well, better get walking. Make a save to make sure that we don't lose this beautiful creature of ours. The fuck was that? Oh dear god, I've never seen these guys before. Skimmers! Oh god, there's ones here as well. Jesus, they're surrounding us! They don't seem to realise we're here, which is very good. Very, very good. Okay, we've got one piece of iron, of copper that'll do. Fucking bail, man. Run, ya fool! Run! There it is! The city! Show but I! Will they let us on without any money? Must work to earn our way in. Oh, what the fuck is this? that? My friend, foe, oh, family member, wag! Oh, I, I removed the mod that was supposed to affect other people with my affliction. The hell are these creatures? They're not of my design! Okay, yeah, I, I definitely need to double check my mod list. Right, we should... We shouldn't have anything illegal to cross customs. Look around a little. Thank you very much. Uh, you tall, tall person. Okay, we now have something, at least. That our hunger has been restored. Or, uh, diminished. Now, naturally, we are above such pitiful things as death. At least today. I think we're probably best off just building a camp somewhere nearby. Yeah, none of these are for sale. Yes, this one's for sale. This puny little shack is a little out of our price range. Okay, let's head back out into the waste. I can see a couple spots that we can use. And in case anyone comes to start shite, we've got these guys to run over to. They shall hopefully defend us. If not, then we can hide from whatever attacked us whilst they're busy eating these boys. And once they've eaten them, you know what that means? They don't need their armor anymore. God, look at that skill. He's getting so good. God, by this point he'd be the perfect slave. Any offers? Anyone at all, please? I think we'll save up for the thieves backpack because that allows us to move quite more liberally than the other options. Discovered stone camp. Oh, what is that? I might just go and investigate that place. After all, we are currently uh, getting relatively familiar with types of stone. I really need to fix this bloody game. This is not supposed to happen. Hey God, listen to that. <laughs> Someone's off screen going crazy with the coconuts. Right, we've got a full inventory again. I think this time before we drop stuff up, we're gonna do a couple laps around the tin. And Barky, dear God, the size of his feet put me to shame. Yeah, the reason why we'll do laps around is because it increases our strength. This will also help us increase our athletics, which increases our run speed. Very important when we have to run away. Alright, we were very close to being skimmed. Oh, so that's the thieves guild here. I've gotten your way, forgive me your lordship. You're talking to a toilet man! Have some respect! It's the Happy Slave Company. They do great business, it's just like a pet shop. In fact, now that I think about it, we've not actually named our faction yet. Well, time to use a name generator. Ah yes, the White Callous Admirable Down to Ear Ireland Hummingbird Pigeons. <laughs> I don't think this name generator quite works for our needs. Uh, let's try another one. <laughs> Hostel de Carp. <laughs> Fuck it, this'll do for me. Hello there, giant check lady. I shall take one of your... No longer have the backpack that was one. Ah. Okay, guess we'll just take the... Large backpack. Which gives us this extra room. And our name's rank, that's just right. Our construction trader, perfect. Okay, let's see, I need three of these and six of these. Okay, that should do there. We'll have to get some food whilst we're here as well. We can't afford any more food. This is a good sign. Okay, we're officially ready to depart out into the world. But first, I believe we shall investigate this little encampment. See if there's anyone we can speak with. Go on here. Oh, this, this is a great sign. Uh, yeah, we probably really want to stay here for as long as we can, don't we? I don't think we're allowed to use this stuff, but I'll try. Might as well make use of this whilst we've got it. Yes, whack your fist into that piece of sheet metal and chain. And so Derek beat. And he beat and he beat. 
Pillars I'm raw and sore. And then he was asked not to use it. I feel like around here, around this sort of crossroads area, should be a decent area to set up camp, at least for a wee while. Then again, we don't want to be too far away from any cities we may need to retreat back to. We have 10 water, 75 fertility surprisingly, some stone and some iron. That's not the best, we'll try see what we can get up here. Bone dog from Rebel Farmers. Yeah, I don't have any issues with the Rebel Farmers at least, so they're not likely to attack us. Dear God, they're moving so fast I can hardly see them moving! This is peak performance, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, so we have got stone, we've got water, good amount of iron there. It's very important for progress, and there's copper just up there. I think we have our starter base here. 100 there, yes! Okay, perfect. All right, Derek, unload all your stuff into here now. There we go. Are you... Oh, fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Run, man, run! Fuckers bloody claim the thing is a nest inside your side. Okay, maybe we can lure it away from here. Well, it seems to just be sleeping now. What's going on over here? These boys seem to be fighting the things. Well, it seems to have left. Yep, it's going away. It doesn't want anything to do with us anymore. These boys have killed a number of them, which is good for us. Who are these boys anyway? Rebel farmers, right? Good shit as far as I'm concerned. Oh, this boy's bloody stalking us. Where is he? Oh, he doesn't want any. Right, let's go check with these boys. See what we can loot off these boys' corpses. Oh, lovely. Some meat and some claws. And we're just gonna leave that foul meat because we can eat it. Oh god, no, no, no. Lou, get away from me. Help me, help me. Strangers, strange people, help me, help me. Okay, no, no. Get away! Derek! Dear God, man! Okay, you don't have a med kit! No! 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 Derek! Derek, no! This can't be how you end! Okay, he's he's healing, but he might he might lose that leg faster than we thought he would. Hopefully these guys will leave fairly soon. They don't actually seem to be eating anyone at least, which is a good sign. Oh, that's a lot of blood, man. Derek! No! Derek! And so we reload. Now we sneak instead. Oh god, get back to the camp, man! Doesn't he know how to path around this stuff? Okay, yeah, play dead, good. Leave, you bastard! Oh god, we're leaving an easily seen trail! Oh, Derek! Oh, damn it. Okay, for now, just do that and we'll wait until these guys are all killed. Oh, what? Goats! Perfect. They would work as great lures. Follow me. Nice, I've now got three goats following me for no apparent reason. Let's see. We only need five materials for a wee shack, so it'll certainly be useful. Oh, get away! No, oh, Derek, why did you do that, man? Right, well, it was only a wee sh wee hit at least. Oh, no. Oh, what? Hey, help me! Where the fuck do you think you're going, man? Fucking help me, you wanker! Come on! Where the fuck do you think you're going, you bloody bastards? Help me! Oh, yeah, fucker. No strong enough to heal himself. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I don't care if I belong to you, man, as long as I'm alive. That's the important bloody part. You Oh. Oh, they was my only bloody save. They was gonna save me. God damn you. You buggy bastard. No. No. Why did I quick save this? Fine. Right, we, we just need to wait it out. He might get saved and taken as a slave. A loose definition of slave, of saved, but he'll still technically be safe. Although it certainly doesn't help if this guy decides that he wants to camp here and lay his fucking nest. Oh good. They've decided this is a perfect area for them to build their new home. Boy, there's already a mine and a stone pro- Oh, and a third one! They're, they're already breeding. And this is why we need to be careful about quick saves. Oh! Oh, but there was a save right before it! Oh, yeah, beauty! Okay, are we safe this time? In the relative terms, yes. We don't have our stuff set up yet, but we can do that quickly. Oh! Just abandon it! Abandon it all! Okay, I think we're gonna head back to Shobatai, do a little more, a little more mining before we come back. 
We'll also specifically get ourselves some medical care. What? Bullshit, man. What? No! I'm not a slave! Well, we've been rescued at least. Technically. God damn it. Wake up, Derek. The hardships we must endure to survive in this land. I'm in a recovery coma at least, so we will recover. This may very well be a good outcome for us, at least to begin with, as it's increased our toughness. Right, there we go. It's hardly something that I relish the chance of doing, but they've given me no choice. They haven't taken any of our stuff at least, which is a good sign. Okay, and we're free. We need to evade being caught for 11 hours. I think our best, our best bet is probably just to hide behind this place and hope that no one goes back there. Yes. Okay, it's a matter of time now and a matter of luck. Where are you going, men? Yes, you just go straight into there. Ignore the naked man that's hugging the side of your building. It, it is dark now, so we might, we might be able to, let's see. See if we can make it to the shinobi thieves. We might just survive. Yes, come on. So close. Get in there. Get in there. You fool. No, not that way. Oh, thank fuck. Okay. They don't know me. There's also then no guards here, so I can probably hide out with them. At least for a wee while. And also use some of their equipment training stuff. I do have enough food to wait out till... Basically until the town goes to sleep again. I don't particularly want to wait that long, but I will if I have to. It would be relatively safe were we to find refuge amongst the religious, as they are effectively just human puritists. Considering how everyone else has turned out, I think I'm probably one of the purest humans in existence right now. Right, let's go. Okay, just gonna need to sneak around these boys who themselves aren't very stealthy, so they're not the best at spotting people who are. Okay. What? No! God damn it! Let us load back, see if for some reason he got up and stopped sneaking there. Just wait for this guy to go past, and we make a run for it. Oh. Never! I am a free man! You can't- No! God damn it! Let go me, you bastards! No! Oh, they got me! Didn't even heal me this time. Can he get me out of here, you bastards? You can't stop me! Ain't got too much longer. Okay, we're free. Come on now. Search these lockers, there's gotta be some sort of first aid kit. We'll be able to stay, sneak it here. God oh, damn it! Oh, there goes the leg. No, he really is, Derek. And we can't even get ourselves in. At least heal me, you fuck! Heal me! Heal me! <laughs> I'm gonna keep escaping till you heal me, you fool! What the fuck do you expect? I just had a leg fall off! Who the fuck's this guy? Ah, oh, and so we die again. Uh, I think we're gonna need to go all the way back before we were captured. I think this was where things all fell apart. I think we need to get closer to the city. Are you just... Uh, yep, she's cuddling in. Good. Ah, lovely. Okay, let's see what we've got prospecting here. No stone. No stone, no good. There is this off-coloured area here, so I think that might be signifying there's a little more stone there. Or I'm kind of hoping that to be the case. Hello. Where we go in? Eh? <laughs> You're not a parrot. Careful, Annabelle. You're not... Okay, down onto my lap. Careful, no madam, that's that's the microphone. <laughs> no, stop biting that. Cheeky. All of that, you no no no. Madam. Oh wait, what? Hold on. They were antagonists? What? Starving vagrants. Oh, th no, thank you. Wait, I can probably lure these guys over to these guys who may attack them, I hope. Come on, attack these guys. Come on, they're in view of you. What? Oh, what the fuck? I thought they were... Bloody... Off the computer, Arabelle, please. <laughs> please. Okay. Cheeky, hello. Come on, you going up there again? You were happy up there for a while. <laughs> you jumping off. Okay, let me just clear that for you. Yes, beautiful girly. Right, I thought that they were friendly to me. I suppose no. These are heroes. Come on. You're supposed to be heroes. Help me, please. 
No, why are you turning hostile me? What the fuck is going on? Right, I think it's just back to what we were doing before. Our attempts to establish our own outpost have been put on halt for the time being. Slave hunters, don't you get any bright ideas? I don't uh, think we're gonna end this part here. We've made attempts to strive out independently and failed. Yet we have a foothold from which we can make a great leap. It's just a matter of building our strength in the meantime. Something I may do a little bit of between episodes and amass a little extra money just to... What the fuck? Why is he just collapsed? Oh, he's dying. I forgot that he was taking damage this whole time. I'm a good leader. Okay. Kill yourself, didn't you? Pass it now. There we go. Okay. And he's safe. Where are you going? He's going oh, He's going back to work the bloody machine. No. Unload everything first, man. Okay, so Derek is in slightly worse condition than when we found him. But now he at least has a stable income again. And uh, you know what? He's healing up. He's, he's getting stronger. He's good, doing good work outdoors. Getting that f fresh air. And plenty of sunlight. I think we'll just end this part here. We'll maybe skip a wee bit forward. I'll just kind of grind up a wee bit of money between episodes. Just a couple hours worth. No, too much. And then we shall continue our efforts to strike out on our own. For now, thank you very much for watching. You have been a beautiful audience. I have been Wakila. That's been my cat, Arabelle. And until next time, goodbye.